Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. It's a chilly day in New York it City. It is. It's a little bit breezy. It's about 38, 39 degrees. Yeah, and dropping, and dropping. Yes, it is. We are here at Bryant Park. Yes. Uh, I think this is the second biggest Christmas market here in the city. Yes. Uh, we chose this one over the Union, Union. Square mm -hmm. one. We did. Because this one has a lot more food options. Yes, Can do a little bit of research on it. Yeah, so we're going to go walk around. It's during the day right now. It's not too busy yet because I know we've been here in the past years very late mm -hmm. and it's gotten packed. Yes. And today they're doing a tree lighting. That's right. At, at, at six o'clock. Four, six o'clock? Yeah, seating is here at four o'clock. Starts at four o'clock, but the tree lighting is at six. Oh, I don't know if we're staying that long. I don't think but... we're going to stay that long. But we're going to go walk around, look at some of the vendors and try some of the food. Yes. Here's a tree right here. It's so small. It's so cute. Yeah. It's going to look spectacular. No ornaments on it, but just a bunch of lights. It's, it's going to look beautiful. Isn't this cute? It's done all of paper. And yeah. I used to do this, it's called coiling. And I used to do the I like coiling. these other ones too, though. Look at this one. That's a cute one. I like this one. The rooster looks really good. Oh yeah, these are cute. I like them. Look at this place, babe. This looks good. We have to try it. Winter time and in the summer. Their first meal we're sharing is, of course, the German brat. I couldn't decide between currywurst and bratwurst. We got the bratwurst, which this is, is the veal. This is the uh, traditional one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, German. Okay, With look at that. Mustard and sauerkraut. Wow. We're ready. It's been a while since we had like a, uh, a German uh, brat, yeah. right? Yes. There it goes. It looks, it looks kind of small. I remember like when we got a uh, bratwurst. Before, like Brussels, they're like really long, so it's like a, like a foot long. So here we go, right here. Let's try it out. Ooh, crunchy. I can hear that. The bratwurst itself, I love the flavor of it, as well as the mustard and the sauerkraut. The only bummer part is the bread. I think it's a little overly toasted. So this is the kind that will scratch the roof of your mouth. <laughs> but besides that, the bratwurst, is the star of the show and it tastes very good it's not a bad start to uh brian park's food uh tour food, uh, food tour right i love the way the sauerkraut looks in there with that dog i know this bread is crunchy where he said it was overly toasted mm -hmm. let's try this out and see all righty That sausage or that brat is still hot. As you bite into it, mm. the mixture of that veal and that pork, along with the kind of the tangy taste of the mustard and the sauerkraut. That sour that sauerkraut isn't very tart at all. The mustard has a little bit of a kick to it. You can see there's all those mustard seeds in there, and the tastiness of that mixture of that meat of the veal and the pork this is a delicious bratwurst it is raclette time so we're gonna go ahead they have all these different types yeah i think we're gonna get to get the traditional right here mm -hmm. right so we can try it out yeah the last time we got it was at the uh, uh the in, la uh smorgasbord uh, that's right yeah yes. let's try this out Wow. <laughs> when she was scraping that cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. That's crazy. You know, you know it, this is like a, a, a kind of a weird smell, but I guess yeah. if you're used to it, but I know it's delicious. Yes, it's a cheesy smell. Yeah. Um, they put it with mustard. I had it with everything in it. And so it's just cheese and the baguette with mustard and the little 
pickle, right? Peppercorn, pinachorn, the, the corn and corns, the little small little pickles. The, I forgot their names. Yeah, yeah, those little things. Try it out. It's hot. Ooh, I can hear that mm. little toastiness of that. What first gets me is that that really tastiness of that cheese, that tart of that cheese. That happens. Mm -hmm. That is delicious cheese. It is. Just get over that, you know, for me, that little funkiness of a smell of the cheese. Mm -hmm. But that taste is amazing. Yeah, it's probably one of the best grilled cheese kind of sandwiches you could have. And it's a good funkiness because it's a cheese funkiness. Mm -hmm. The cheese is pretty strong, strong tasting. So you have to like the strong tasting, not like a mild tasting, like a cheddar or anything like that. Yeah. Very strong tasting cheese. We're used to getting this when we were in Amsterdam. Yeah. In Paris, that type of really strong, very pungent cheese. It's got some stusel behind yes, it. But we love it in this type. I normally can't eat it normal, just cheese itself. I need it with something. So yeah. This is delicious. The other one had this cheese over those potato cubes, and that yes, was really good that too. That was very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This so, is great. This is good. Uh -huh. We're going to share this, and then we're going to go on to the next one. Interesting little stand. This one has lobster fries and crab fries. So yeah. that's kind of interesting. It is. It's and right it's here at CPAC. They have a ramen wrapped corn dog, which is kind of interesting. Other than the potato corn dog, which you had for the Korean corn dogs, ramen wrapped? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Yeah. It is. There are plenty of food options here. Tons of food options. Yeah. They even have a cheeseburger place right there. They do. Uh, the dim sum place. Or, they do. Or Bows. Uh, Bows. 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 And they have those truffle fries. Mm -hmm. um, they also have uh, empanadas here. So many. I think we're going to try one more dish and then we're going to move on to dessert and then a little bit of shopping. Oh, hey. <laughs> or we just might do dessert because we'll I saw these apple cider donuts. Yes. Maybe we have to try it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know it's getting cold because yeah. I had to bust out my little furry hat. Uh -huh, I got the, my ears covered. It's a little bit off. Got my ears covered. Yeah. It's getting a little chilly. Got our hand warmers in our in our pockets. That's right. You know when when it gets serious, I'm gonna lower my my ear flaps. Yep. Yeah. Where's our hand warmers? Hand warmers. Yeah. Where's that? Found the place that has the uh, hot apple cider mm -hmm. and a donut. Yes, for ten dollars. Yeah, it's a great combo. Here it, it is, is right there. Try it out, babe. Here it is from Breezy Hill. Mm -hmm. Got the uh, the donut and our and apple cider. cider. It's a little bit hot. Yeah, it looks really Let's good. See, but it's really good for this 43 degree weather. It's, yeah, it's 43 evening. degrees. Yeah, it's supposed to be cooler, huh, baby? Like 36 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah. Now, the only other apple cider that I usually drink is that Mott's in the K-Cup, yeah. the, the Keurig. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. like that one. But see how that one is. Yeah. It says it's a, a locally Ooh, grown. It's very good. It tastes like, um, you know, the ciders that you get from the apple farms, mm -hmm. and it's just a warm duck. Oh, or wow. really just made to hot. So it's very good. Try that donut, baby. How's it taste? Mm. Just like a regular donut? It tastes like an apple cider donut. Uh huh, interesting. It's got the little sugary on it mm -hmm. nice and moist donut mm -hmm. I'm sure it matches that really well mm -hmm. yeah, give a sip. <laughs> oh yeah it does yeah that's a little bit better than the Mott's cake up <laughs> yeah. yeah apple cider donut with apple uh -huh. cider back here at breezy orchard what mm -hmm. 10 bucks 10 bucks what a deal yeah especially when it's cold it's it's worth double yeah. and right Hugging the hand warmers. Yeah. Here's probably one of the most unique chocolate gifts for the guy. Tools and railroad ties. Look at that. It looks 
really authentic. Like some screwdrivers, wrenches. These are great ideas. Look at that. Yeah, the railroad ties. Yeah, they like, got that different tools, they have ball bearings, wrenches. gears, sprockets, uh, locks, bottle openers, little cars and trains, yeah. cameras. Very unique. Oh, yeah. It's called the uh, United Chocolate Works. Kind of cool. Yeah. skating exhibition yeah because of the tree lighting there are a bunch of uh, different skaters team usa and mm -hmm. some other skaters are here that are, are practicing kind of cool they're very good yeah they're very good. almost as good as us at the rockefeller last year uh sure yeah eight seven six five four three two one Let's all so apparently that was just a practice to light that tree. I knew it was a practice. Yeah. Yeah. I, it only reminded me of Clark Griswold when he tried to light up his house and yeah. nothing happened. Yeah, that's right. Everybody got boated over there, <laughs> including me. <laughs> Oh, they look like all kinds of faces on these puppets, right? Puppets, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty cool. It is. Very Muppet-esque. I like all these ornament shops yeah, here. So we went back to the ornament mm -hmm. one. These are really cool. These are the hand yeah. rolled sure papers. Are. Yes. Right here for $16 each. Yeah. So, I like these. A couple good souvenirs yeah. right there. You can get them here at Brian Brooks. The place called No Chewing Allowed. I think they have custom chocolates. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, we're going to try some of these out. We got a yeah. coffee one, right? Uh, and pistachio. $1.50. And per piece. salted toffee? Which would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. I think he said if you buy 10 or more, it drops down. In yeah, price. the price drops. But they have different flavors. I think we're going to try these. Okay, let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Don't let it, uh, you have to let it melt in your mouth, right? right? No okay. chewing. No chewing. What do we get? We're going to try out the classic one. It says on the back here that it's the classic one. All right. Right there. Let's try this out. And you can't shoot, right? You're right. Is this Let a truffle? Let it melt in your mouth. These are little truffles. Truffle chocolates? So as you can see, they're covered in cocoa powder. Oh, yeah. Good size. It's a really good size little truffle chocolate. It's a buck fifty a nug. Mm-hmm. It's hard, so it's going to take a while to melt in your mouth. Yeah. I want to chew it. Because there's no chewing allowed. Oh, no. I heard you. You chewed it. No, I didn't. You get into it. Okay. It's good, though. Very it's creamy. Good. It is. Uh, milky. Mm hmm Very okay. good. Yeah, it just lingers in your mouth for a while, which is fine with us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We make our Wendy's. Yeah. I'm curious about that pistachio one. Oh, yeah. They have little ears. It almost looks like little Ewok. Mm -hmm. Look at Ewok ones. The cat ones. Spider Man. Yeah. Let me try these out.
Yeah, it looks very warm. How's it? Is it warm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're inside of a, like a sign store. It's got some artistic stuff and retro stuff, but I found the best sign of all. Right down here. Boom. Yeah, I'm a Mustang guy. That's a wrap from Bryan Park. That was a fun little trip. Here. It was. You know, my favorite was that raclette cheese sandwich. Yeah, that was good. And that apple cider donut and cider. Yeah, that was good as well. And all the little stores here are so cute. We always love uh, shopping the locals, right, baby? Yeah, a lot of uh, craft, um, yes. homemade stuff, which yes. is really neat. Yes, and we know there are other Christmas markets around, mm -hmm. but this is the one we picked because we think it has a bit of a mixture of the food and the, right. and the shopping and even the entertainment. That's and I know right. the tree lighting is today. We're not going to stay for the tree lighting because we want to see some other stuff. Yeah. But I know the tree lighting is today, so when you come by, the tree will be lit. Yeah, so we're going to do one other video, which yes. I don't know, probably going to come out before this one or after this one. We'll see. But it's going to be uh, Times Square and Manhattan. And Manhattan and the Saks Fifth Avenue show, right? Yeah, right. And the, the Rockefeller Center tree is not lit yet. It's actually being lit tomorrow. And we're not going to be here for no. it. But we'll show you, we'll show you the unlit tree. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, until our next New York adventure, catch you guys on the next one.